Hey everyone, it is Saturday, uh, July 20th, and I am garbage because my writing is very not there at all, and it's embarrassing to have to come on here and say that I haven't been writing, but I don't know, I feel like I had an excuse, you know, it's only my second week at my new job. Also, it was the week I got my period, sorry, content warning period talk, uh, so I was just still really tired trying to learn everything at work, and then I was just, I would get home and I didn't feel like doing anything because my period was making me feel exhausted. So my writing has really suffered this whole week, I'm like looking at, like, keeping track. Monday I wrote 659 words. Tuesday, I wrote absolutely nothing. Wednesday, I wrote 534 words. Thursday, I wrote 146 words. And yesterday, the 19th, I wrote absolutely nothing. So two days where I wrote absolutely nothing. A whole week where every day was under 1,000. And one day that was under 200. So I've I've been a little angry with myself because the thing is, it's not that I don't want to write this story. I think about this story all the time and it's the only thing I want to do, but I just, I get home and I just don't have the energy and it sucks. It, I don't want to be, turn into like, you know, just a, a whiner, but it really sucks being a creative and having to have a day job because I know I'm not the only one that, you know, eight hours a day, you're doing just stupid stuff that you don't care about, and it's exhausting, you're sitting in traffic, and then you get home, and the stuff you actually want to do, you're too tired for, or you're too stressed out about. Like, I don't know, it's just, it just really sucks. It's just so stupid and I hate it and I hate everything and that's probably just a side effect of the period. So yeah, it's Saturday and um, my boyfriend had to go help a friend of his move, which he just helped his sister move too, so he's, he's the kind of guy that won't say no so everyone knows they can come to him. But it's gonna be like 101 degrees out today, so I'm a little worried about that. But you know, so he's not home. I don't have anything to do today. I should probably clean up a little bit, like the kitchen and the bathroom, but I don't have anything that I have to do. So I'm just going to make today all about writing. I do have a ton of YouTube videos I need to catch up on. I've been like finding new author tubers to watch. Now the problem is just trying to find the time to watch them and I just hit myself in the chin. I don't know if anyone saw that. So yeah, I'm going to spend today writing Possibly outlining if I write more than I think I will, and every now and then maybe watching a YouTube video, like do a sprint, watch a video, do a sprint, watch a video. That might be the only way I can make progress on both my story and my YouTube watch later playlist. <laughs> Before I get started, I kind of want to talk not about, well, it is about personal, but my writing ties into it, I swear. Uh, I will mention my second week at my job went a little better than my first week. Uh, Tuesday I sat there and literally thought, like, holy shit, I'm too stupid for this. But the rest of the week went by fine, you know, still have a lot to learn, but I'm doing okay. <laughs> and uh, so what I wanted to talk about is that next Wednesday I am going to see the Proto Men, which a is awesome because I love their music, but B is awesome because my novella that I'm working on for Camp Nano is really, is like heavily inspired by their second album, Act 2, The Father of Death, and it just kind of feels like, I don't know, some kind of fate thing. The fact that I have spent all of July working on this story and I'm closing out July by seeing the band that inspired it. And the thing is, I'm nervous because I, I bought meet and greet tickets and I'm nervous because my autism makes me a really awkward and weird and 
strange person to talk to in real life, especially when I'm nervous. And I mean, I'm nervous all the time, but is more so in public. I'm afraid that I'll either be too awkward to say anything and I'll just come across really weird or I'll say too much and come across really weird. I don't know, I've never done a, like a meet and greet before recently. I met a band once when I was in high school and they sucked, they were really mean. So <laughs> I don't have a good experience with meet and greets. Like in my head, the ideal meet and greet, I would get a chance to talk, you know, with the proto men and say like, I don't know how much it means to me that I'm getting to see them and explain that their music inspired a story and that, you know, it's been really fun because for the longest time I wasn't writing anything and then for the longest time I was just working on just one project, my Gargoyles of Craven trilogy that has kind of consumed my life for like two years and so this is the first new thing that I'm working on so and it's something new and I pretty much owe all of that to the Proto Men for inspiring it so it would be really cool to be able to tell them a little bit about it and maybe even ask like, hey if I get around to you know self-publishing this would it be okay to use a line from one of your songs as long as I credit you? Like, you know, that would be cool. I still plan on asking that, even if I have to go through Twitter or something, because they do respond to fans and stuff. They responded to a comment of mine on Facebook, which was really cool. But I... There's a lot of issues with that. The first being, I don't know how the meet and greet is going to go, because it's two bands that are playing, Proto Men and Twerp, Tupperware Remix Party, and um, the meet and greet is for, like, both bands in general and you're not really getting one-on-one -on -one time as far as I know. A lot of people are posting about their experiences meeting them, but it seems to be something that's like different based on the venue that you're going to, and the venue that I'm going to doesn't have a lot of information. I've scoured their website because, I, if, if anything, I am a planner, and so I'm trying to plan it ahead, and they don't really have a lot of information about meet and greets, and I don't know how much time I'm going to get if it's going to be like a, you know, like a, hey, what's your name? I'm April, nice to meet you, hope you enjoy the show, you know, that's it, basically. I'm worried it's not going to be long enough to tell them, but I want to tell them, because I know if I don't, I will regret it after the fact. And also, the other worry I have is that, like I mentioned, I met this band in high school, I don't want to say who it is, I don't think they make music anymore, but they did for a long time, people my age really liked them, and I don't know, but they were this uh, hardcore band, they toured a lot with like Avenged Sevenfold and Atreyu and I was really into them at the time like those three bands were my favorite bands when I was that age and I think it was at an Ozfest and they were there and I was super jacked to see them and you could there was like a little booth you could buy their CD and like meet them and get them to sign it and everything after they play and I already had the CD but I really wanted to meet them so I paid for a CD that I already owned just so I could get them to sign it. I was first in line, like, you know, in the heat, you know, sweating to death in a crowd, but I was so excited to meet them, and they were all just assholes. They didn't give a shit that I was there. They, like, were annoyed that I was there, and I was, like, a shy little fat kid in high school, so yeah, I wasn't, like, the ideal person they probably wanted to meet. But like I said, I had just bought a CD that I already owned just so I could meet them and I asked the singer for a picture and he like rolled his eyes. He did it, but he let me know he wasn't happy with it. And so after that, you know, I was never really able to listen to them again even though they were one of my favorite bands because, you know, it had been such a bad experience and clearly it affected me in some way because you know, like 15 years later, it still bothers me. So I would hate for the proto men to like either be like standoffish or you know, express that they are uncomfortable with my weirdness or whatever because it's not just this story. I genuinely, their music is just so awesome. It's like all I've been listening to the past couple of months and. I don't know what I would do if I met them and they were mean. <laughs> the proto men mean a lot to me right now. So, I don't know, I'm just nervous and I wanted to get that out. Would you talk to them about your story if you were in my shoes? Because I don't want to come across too weird or, you know, whatever. <laughs> but like I said, I know if I don't tell them I will get home and regret that I didn't tell them. So it's just really stupid that I'm so nervous about it. So yeah, that's on Wednesday. Uh, I'm taking my brother. I'm really excited. 
I'm taking him because he's helped me a lot in the past, like, um, to say financially makes it sound like he's, like, spotted me, like, you know, a grand for rent or something, but, like, just little things, and so now that I'm actually making more money, I don't know, I'm kind of wanting to give back to him, and I wouldn't have discovered the proto men without him, because he's a fan, he's a fan of both, but he was a fan of Twerp before, and Twerp did a song with proto men, and he introduced me to Twerp, and I was listening to Twerp and found the song that they did with the proto men, and thus became a proto men fan, so I wouldn't be a proto men fan without my brother, so it just felt, again, like fate, like I needed to take my brother to see the proto men, so going to be pretty fun. We've never, we've gone to a concert before, but it was like a group like effort, so it's just going to be him and me, him and I, excuse me, and I don't know, it's going to be pretty fun. Me and my brother, we get along really well. I'm grateful for that. But yeah, enough rambling. I, uh, I have my document pulled up. This is an ex exciting scene because it involves an automaton and, you know, some action, but it's going to be a little difficult to write because I've never been very good at writing action. I think I'm getting better, but it, it's definitely one of my weaker points when I'm writing. So yeah, I'm not looking forward to that, and, but um, I picked up one of these from Walmart, the caramelized vanilla honey made with a splash of cold brew. Sorry, I'm not flipping you off, I swear. Splash of cold brew. I've had this one before, it's pretty good. I also bought some dark chocolate at Walmart for later. Figure, you know, give myself a little, like, reward system. I have some leftover pizza from last night, and I bought more flaming Hot Cheetos, so I'm going to, I know I shouldn't, you know, I need food to survive, but I'm gonna use food as my reward system today. So I think I'm gonna do maybe, um, like a 20 minute sprint. Maybe put on a YouTube video, another 20 minute sprint, and maybe eat a piece of pizza. I don't know, I know it's kind of early, but I'm hungry. <laughs> Last night I ate kind of early and then I passed out on the floor and then I woke up and went like went to bed. So, you know, I, did, I ate kind of early and I don't know, I just love, I love food. So yeah, I'm gonna get me set up for a little 20 minute sprint and get going. Because this needs to be done. This really needs to be done. First 20 minute sprint down. I wrote not a lot, not a lot at all. I wrote 528 words. Most of that 20 minutes was me drinking this and agonizing over my outline. <laughs> Once I get past this scene, I'm sure I'll be great because the very next chapter slash scene kind of kicks off the main, I guess, story? I don't know what I would call it. It kind of, the next chapter slash scene will be the end of my fun and games beat and my launching point for my midpoint beat. And I think I've mentioned it before, once I get to my midpoint, it's all kind of smooth sailing from there because it's all the scenes that I've been waiting to write. So it's just getting out of the fun and games beat and then I will be good to go. But for now, I'm actually really, really hungry and it's only like 9, 9.40, but I'm so hungry. So um, I'm going to get some pizza and watch a YouTube video. And when I'm done my pizza, I will probably do another 20 minute sprint, if anything. McLovin, I hear ya, darling. I hear ya. Man, I know you got food. So if anything, I'm hoping that at least I will make a thousand words today. Although I'm definitely aiming for a lot more because I want to get to my midpoint. That is my goal for this weekend. I'm kind of despairing because I don't think I'm going to finish this by the time July is over. And I need to be more disciplined in that when August starts, I am moving on to a new draft of Stone Soul because that is coming out this year. Period. So that is my main priority after Camp Nano. So I would love to finish this before August, but I really don't think I'm going to and that makes me sad. But you never know, maybe I will. Maybe after I hit the midpoint, you know, I say it's all smooth sailing. Maybe it will be smooth sailing, much smoother than I think, and maybe I will finish. So yeah, I'm gonna go grab something to eat, and then I will be back to do some more writing.
Okay, so I ate and I am ready to get going, I suppose. I still have this much of my drink left. I wrote 528 words during that first sprint. Uh, they might be terrible words that I hate, but they're still new words. And, whoops, opening my calculator instead of my clock. And I'm going to set a timer for another 20 minute sprint. And I got my kitty. Yeah, there's my little boy. And I am going to get started on my sprint. <laughs> Okay, so my second sprint is done. I wrote that time around a little bit more. I wrote 551 words. Sorry, I almost forgot that one, <laughs> that extra one word. And so that brings my total for today, so far, up to 1,079 words, which I'm just excited to have already reached my the daily goal that I like to reach. The scene is going on forever. I kind of haven't really gotten anywhere because I've had to build a lot of character interaction in this scene. And I'm just now about to get into the action. I kind of just want to get past this scene. I really, really want to get to my midpoint. The next scene, it's going to be... Sorry, I dropped my pen. The next scene is a pretty big scene, but nothing really happens. It's just a talky scene. But it's an important talky scene because it is kind of what leads to the planning, I guess, of what they want to do about the automatons in their city. So yeah, I think if I if I am really disciplined today, I think I will be able to finish this chapter slash scene and possibly even the next one, the next one, the talky scene. And that would mean that after today, I would have to stop and plan because I have nothing for my midpoint, my midpoint plotted out. So I would have to stop and plan, but it would be a little easier for me getting past this scene because I know what happened, what I want to happen in my midpoint. So that is the, the ultimate goal for this weekend. I want to finish my fun and games beat today, like completely finish beat 8, and tomorrow start work on beat 9, whether that is just strictly outlining and not writing anything, or outlining and writing. That is the main goal, outlining and writing, but I will be happy if I can just outline tomorrow and then pick up on Monday, pick up with the midpoint. I'm probably going to take a little break to clean up the kitchen and stuff, and I finished my drink. Should probably drink some water, but I left my my water cup. I'm not gonna lie, I just I just don't like water that much. Like when I'm at work, it's fine, but when I'm at home, I don't want to drink it. It's a really weird mentality that I have. But yeah, so I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna go clean the kitchen, go to the bathroom, get something to drink, and then I will be back to do another 20 minute sprints because these seem to be working for me. <laughs> Thank God. I was hoping for some birds or squirrels so you can see some of my little babies but I guess it's too hot even for them so I'll have to settle for showing you McMuffin this is his new favorite place to lay hi baby what are you doing what are you doing I know you're so cute I'm sorry for bothering you so um I cleaned the kitchen and the bathroom scrubbing the toilet is always something that like I never want to do, who does? But then I do it and it takes me like less than five minutes to do it. So then it's always like, I'm grateful that I did it. But you know, I did it, as I was saying. Um, I just got myself some more iced coffee. I, I know I should probably drink something else, something like water, but I don't want water. And you know, the coffee makes me, it makes me feel like I'm making progress. You know, the bean juice flows through my veins and I'm working and I'm feeling productive, so I'm about to get back to writing. I keep waiting, hoping a bird or a squirrel is gonna go come by, but I guess not. We have some cardinals. We have like three cardinals, a male and two females. And it's weird because you can tell the females apart because the male obviously is like super bright red, he's gorgeous, and then the females are the more muted colors. And one of them has like a mohawk looking thing while the other one has like her crest is 
like slicked back pretty much while the one has like a mohawk crest like it's really it's really cool to be able to tell them both apart we also have some blue jays that come by and steal the peanuts that I put out for the squirrels which is okay because the squirrels steal the bird seed that I put out for the birds and we have these finches they're so cute I think they might be called house finches but I'm not sure they have just like a I guess like a gray body but their heads are like a reddish kind of almost magenta color they're really adorable and then we have the, like the normal finches and sparrows and we've actually had like two doves morning doves that like to come by and they're my favorite like they're some of my I, I love all birds um, I would love to have a pet bird I want to get a cockatiel or two but morning doves are some of my favorites and I'm also really like sappy because back when I first started dating my boyfriend he said he had never seen a dove before so I painted him a picture of one and it was just really silly <laughs> but they come by sometimes and they're awesome and I love them so much and oh my cardinal's here. His girlfriend's in the tree. Can you see? Where's my zoom? I'm still learning. <laughs> oh, she flew away. But there is a little sparrow up in the bird feeder. Maybe I can... <gasps> oh, little baby. Focus. See my boyfriend hung a picture on the window. Aw. Did you see my cardinal, though? Oh, I wish I was better at this camera. I could have like flipped it around quicker. It's so like bulky and I'm still learning how to use it. Ugh. Oh, he's still here though. He's in the tree. So yeah, I, I love my birds and my cardinals are some of my favorites. There they both are. I don't know why he's fighting. Fighting her. I thought they were, I thought they were together. Maybe they're just having a little spat. There's the one that doesn't have the mohawk. She's just the the normal like crested one. My little babies. And then a little sparrow came. Bird watching when I should be writing is uh, one of my biggest uh, contributing factors to my procrastination. But I'm actually excited that some came by so I could show them to you, even though my camera skills suck, which is funny because I used to want to be a director. Obviously, I did not go to film school. <laughs> so yeah, got my kitty under the table, my birdies on my patio, and I'm gonna go hole up in the office and, and keep writing. I got some more iced coffee. I have my chocolate sitting on the counter and I just keep looking at it. I really, I really want my chocolate because it's dark chocolate, my fave. But um, I think I might wait, maybe do another sprint and then have some chocolate or maybe I should set a word count goal uh get to sorry I know it's so dark in here maybe I could set a goal I'm already at a thousand words I know that much so maybe um I want to say maybe 1500 but I know I really need to get a lot more done when I finish this chapter I will allow myself a piece of chocolate that sounds good yeah I'm gonna get back to writing and it's gonna be fun I hope think uh, even if it's not fun I'm gonna do it so I've done two sprints since I last saw you among other things I kind of snacked on some Cheetos and I've been trying to catch up on my YouTube videos so my first sprint not like first of the day but the first of the two that I did I got 541 words then the one one I did after that I actually stopped to do a little brainstorming like I started writing it and then I stopped because I had to kind of plan out the rest of the scene because I knew loosely what I wanted to happen but I didn't know like the details and as I had finally gotten to this scene I needed the details <laughs> and I've started working on that scene more in depth and I was able to write 385 words in that sprint, as well as, you know, outline the rest of the chapter. Chapter's still not done, or should I say the scene is not done, because after my first sprint, I decided to end it. It was a good cliffhanger, and um, that scene had already gotten to pretty big amount of words, and I don't like for my chapters to be too long. So I ended it, and... The 385 words that I've written for the second sprint 
that is all like a new chapter, which sucks because I said I would reward myself with some chocolate after I finished the chapter. But what I should have said after I finish is after I finish this scene, I will give myself some chocolate. So I have all this to write, not these top top two, all that to write to finish this big scene. And then I will reward myself with some chocolate. This doesn't even touch on the talky scene I mentioned earlier that is kind of the precursor to the midpoint, basically, like the legitimate end of point eight, the fun and games uh, beat, excuse me, beat eight, the fun and games one. That's the, the bridge. That talky scene is going to be the bridge between beat eight and beat nine and that is coming after this scene. So after this scene, which I'm hoping doesn't take me much longer, after this scene, then I will be writing the, the bridge between the beats. And I'm really hoping I can do all of that today, but I'm not sure when my boyfriend's getting home and I'm planning on making like breakfast burritos for dinner. Like um, I have some leftover tortillas because I made enchiladas. I don't know why I'm telling you all this besides procrastinating, but yeah, I'm. the goal is to finish both this chapter and also the scene that leads into beat 9. That is the goal for today, and it is only two, so I have more than enough time. It's just a matter of will I be motivated throughout the day to do so, and I struggle with motivation, especially these past few days. So I'm not 100% sure. I'm not even 80% sure that I will be able to do that. So yeah, I'm going to start another sprint and really get into this scene. I should be able to finish this. Maybe, maybe not in the next sprint. Maybe two more sprints and I will finish this chapter slash scene. <laughs> I really gotta get better at, like, labeling these things. But yeah, so I'm gonna jump right into that and see how far I can get, you know? So I have done two more sprints, and I'm not finished like I thought I would. My first sprint was 385 words, my second was 537, and I actually had to start a new chapter because it ended on another good cliffhanger because so far in this novella I'm not using like scene breaks like you um, most people you know myself included will use like an asterisk or like you know a set of three asterisks and that's the scene break in the chapter but for some reason in this novella I haven't been using scene breaks I just start a new chapter basically which is why I'm struggling with what to call them chapters slash scenes that's just how I'm how I'm rocking and rolling I did not finish this chapter, I mean this scene like I hoped. I uh, I did from here down to here and so I have these three bullet points left of what I need to write for this scene before I can move on to the talky scene that leads into the midpoint. And my goal, like I keep saying, is to finish both of those by the end of the day but if I can't for some reason, I really just want to finish this scene for certain. So I'm taking like a five minute break before I do another sprint and hopefully I will be even closer to finishing this scene. Hey everyone, it is Sunday, July 21st. You think I would be better at knowing the dates before I come on here. But, um, so obviously I did not film anymore last night because I remember I left off after I did a few sprints and I was going to take like a five minute break and do some more sprints and uh, in the middle of my five minute break I was like laying on the floor with my cat and my boyfriend got home and so, you know, I wanted to kind of hang out with him and stuff and I did and I did continue writing though. I cannot remember exactly what, um, how many words I left off with, but I can tell you that not only did I finally finish that scene that was giving me trouble, look how much I got to color because 
I wrote yesterday a total of 4,723 words, which brought my total for camp up to 22,917 words, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I am very, very close to completing my goal, even if I'm not at all close to finishing this story just yet. <laughs> I didn't, you know, I had the two scenes I wanted to write, the, um, the action-y one, and then I have a chatty scene. I did not get around to the chatty scene, I just finished the action-y one. So I'm a little disappointed because it's already 2.30 in the afternoon today, because I spent all day with my boyfriend, he's taking a nap now. But um, I'm sitting down to do a little bit of writing, and I don't know if I'll be able to finish this chatty scene today. I went through and I kind of, my problem is I, you all know I'm an outliner. I live for my outlines. The problem is when a chapter, like I outline chapter by chapter, but then when I'm writing a chapter and that chapter is giving me trouble, I will then go and outline that single chapter and that's what this whole page is, is that that chapter. And so I'm gonna start it and it's, it is a short scene. I should be able to finish it today. I guess I'm just gonna jump right into it and uh, how it goes. Let me label it. I've been using the labels to let me know which chapter is like a Gage chapter versus a Mirai chapter. Actually, I can show you. Okay. So, you can use these little labels. Like there's a Mirai chapter. There's a lot of Mirai chapters. Uh, you know, Gage chapter. But then the really cool thing, don't don't read it, I'm trusting y'all not to read it. The really cool thing is that I can then kind of look at it in a corkboard format and you can see Mirai's point of view pretty much dominates this story, but I don't see a problem with that. But yeah, so I've been utilizing that label kind of system. I didn't know you could do that in Scrivener and I've had Scrivener since 2013, so you learn something new every day, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm ending this vlog. Sunday has been kind of a bust for me. I did not finish the scene I wanted to, but I did write an extra 767 words, which brings my total for camp at the end of week three. Yeah, week three to 23,684, meaning I have less than 7,000 words to reach my goal, which I think is pretty doable. I'm not certain I'm going to finish my actual story by the time July is over, but it's nice to know I've written, well, I will have written enough words to actually finish Camp Nano, which is something I haven't done in a long time. So yeah, I'm playing a video game right now. I was watching my boyfriend play GTA 5 and it made me want to play it. I've never played it before. So I'm going to get back to that while I still have some free time left before I have to go back to work tomorrow. And yeah, I hope you liked this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If not, that's okay. I understand. How's your camp project going? Are you... Are you going to, like finish your goal but not your story or are you finishing both at the same time let me know down in the comments below and if you like my video be sure to subscribe I try to get one out at least you know every week and yeah I will see you in my next one thank you for watching